I'd like to call to order the June 12, 2018 Planning Board meeting. At this time, I'd ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, stop. <laughs> Is it too loud? You're scaring me. I'm jumping up foot. All right, in accordance with the State Government Ethics Act, <clears throat> It is the duty of every planning board member to avoid conflicts of interest. Does any planning board member have any known conflict of interest with respect to any matters coming before the board? If so, it'll be addressed once the case comes before. We only have one case, so it'll be addressed right now. Um, and they'll be asked to, to be excused. Any members have any conflict of interest? No. I will go on record as saying that I do live in Eagle Creek where this is located, uh, but I have no vested interest in this at all. So. I'll leave it to the planning board if they want me to excuse myself. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, we do have a quorum with five members present. Um, are there any uh, changes to tonight's agenda? No, sir. All right. No changes. I'll entertain a motion for approval. So move. Second. Second. All right. All put. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. All right. So passes the agenda. Minutes. Are there any changes to the May? 10th, 2018 minutes. None. All right, I'll entertain a motion for approval. Approval of the May 10th amendment, or, or I'm sorry, minutes. minutes. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, so moved. Uh, there's no old business, so we'll move on to the, to the new business. is PB 1815 Eagle Creek Golf Course and Grill. <laughs> Text amendment to the UDO to modify off-premises directional sign regulations. Hmm. The applicant and persons in support have 20 minutes, total of 20 minutes to present their proposal and to make comments. Persons in opposition have 20 minutes to rebut and then the applicant will have five minutes to rebut them. Um, is there anyone here to represent the case? If you could, please step up and state your name and address, and then I'll ask you to have a seat while they present the case. Uh, Tim, Tim Posh, Posh, 109 Greenview Road, Moyock, North Carolina, 27958. Thank you, Mr. Posh. Tammy, are you going to go ahead and present the case? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the applicant is requesting to amend the off-premise directional sign standards that are currently in the Unified Development Ordinance. Um, as the language reads today, a business um, adjoining the Currituck Sound or the Intracoastal Waterway um, can have an off-premise directional sign. Um, they have to be within two miles from the businesses that are on those waterways and um, under the same ownership. Um, currently, they're allowed in the business and mixed-use zoning districts, and they're allowed to be 64 square feet and up to 15 foot tall. Um, the proposed language um, is to allow the off-premise directional signs within two miles of a major arterial street in addition to the two waterways to add in um, allowance in the agricultural <coughs> zoning district and to limit the size and height of a, um, the off-premise directional sign to that of a street name sign, similar to a street name sign. Um, the sign could only list the business name and the directions with which it is located, and it would no longer have to be on the property owned by the business that um, is requesting the sign. Just a couple of examples to remind you, a tax amendment applies countywide. So um, just a couple of examples. Um, the Moyock Commons, Cray Tech Commercial Shopping Center, and that is from the William E. Wood and Moyock to Food Lion. Um, that space could have about 13 off-premise directional signs. Um, Sam Pat Professional Center at the southern part of the county 
um, could have about 14 off-premise directional signs in that um, distance. Research based on tax listings as of June 1st and field work indicate that approximately 150 businesses could take advantage of the text amendment. The staff is recommending denial due to the inconsistency with the land use plan. I won't read you those policies, but they're in your packets. They're policy CA4 and CA5. It's, incon it's inconsistency with the purpose intent and intent of section 5.12 of the UDO. And it's not reasonable in the public interest because it does not result in a logical, efficient development pattern because it commercializes the landscape along the heavily traveled corridors and provides off-premise off advertising um, instead of directing traffic. Now, that is all I have, and I will be happy to answer any questions. All right. Does anybody have any questions for staff? Just out of curiosity, <clears throat> um, Krabby's I don't think is any longer in business, but are there any businesses currently that are taking advantage as it stands. I believe there's one other business that's taken advantage of it now as it stands. There are four that could. Um, if Krabby's is out of business, then, then then there will be three that could. Who, who, who is the one? Do you have any idea? Um, I'm trying to picture it, and I can't. I can't. Coin Jack Marina had one there. When you come on to, um, what is the name of the road? I just lost it. <coughs> it's not on the highway. It's down on that access road, right? Yeah, it's at it's the at the highway at the curve of the highway and the access road. Waterlily. Thank you. Waterlily Water yeah, Road. <laughs> I lost it. Um, let me think. Is there anyone else? I don't think the other ones are. That may be the only one now since Krabby's is closed. And and this uh, application. It's within two miles. Um, I have to wonder, in the lower part of the county, and I'm talking from the from uh, the cut down. Is it two miles wide? At the very end, no. I would not think it is. Well, from from the center line of the road, I'm not sure that there's two miles in either direction. Probably not at the point. Okay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But coming from the south, right there at the road turning going back to Eagle Creek, there Sorry. was a sign. Is it still there, or have I just those not? signs are? Um, they are by NCDOT. They are. Um, there's a grant program. Todd's. Todd's. Thank you. How do you know so much? <laughs> um, it is a, a tourist oriented. <clears throat> grant that you can get them so they have off-premise directional signs one going as you're going north one as you're going south um, but they're in dot right-of-way so we don't regulate four by eight sign that was there it's my understanding that that's how this started yes that, that received a violation yes. notice and that's there was what prompted one. the it text was, amendment. Yes, You're yes, correct. To take it down. Are the billboards still there? Billboards are still there, but they're no longer Eagle Creek. <coughs> or Ryan Holmes or something like that. Okay. But these would specifically be on private property, so that would make them different from those Todd <coughs> blue and white signs that, that you see that currently say golf course. Any other questions for staff? All right, Mr. Posh, if you want to present your case, you have 20 minutes. I don't think I'm going to run out for 20 <laughs> minutes unless you guys go home. Uh, I'm, I'm just, just basically, basically looking to uh, direct traffic to my golf course, not necessarily the, the grill, but the golf course. Uh, we Since we've opened up a little over five years ago, rounds of golf, that's one person playing golf at my golf course. Um, it was around 1,500 to 2,000 rounds of golf a year. And we raise that up to this year. We're looking to do about 20,000 rounds of golf. And that's all tourist related. <clears throat> we have, <coughs> I did put signs out there um, to attract some of these people, you know, that have blinders on. They're heading to the Outer Banks to put their feet in the sand and have a nice beer. But those people um, really don't stop. So I've gone to social media and uh, we've 
done a pretty, pretty good job with that, that. But, but they're, they're going, going so fast when they go past me, I need a directional sign to just point them in my direction. I'm not looking to advertise. I'm not looking to put any specials up on the board. I'm not looking to um, you know, put beer specials or anything like that. I'm just getting to get, trying to get these people pointed in the right direction. So when they come down, those Todd signs are nice, but uh, they fly past those. So um, there was a sign there. Everybody, I'm sure, has been around here for a long time. There was a sign there that uh, when Mill Run was there over six years ago, I was told that uh, I could go ahead and erect that sign, put it back together, found some of the pieces. But anyway, so she's right. This is how this, or you were right. This is how this whole thing started. I was just putting my sign back up. Talked to the farmer there, said, no problem. You can use the property. I said, I'll rent it from you. He said, I can even dig it to you if you need it to because it's just a small corner. So again, I'm looking to get some tourist dollars at my place. Um, I don't know if you know me or not, but I, I do. Um, donate a lot of money to the fire department, police department, <clears throat> actually not to the police department, but to um, some of their programs and things like that. So um, I feel like uh, a little help would be nice. And that's it. That's my Anybody have any questions for Mr. Posh? Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm a little confused because you said it wasn't to generate traffic, just to direct people that were trying to sure. find you. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm confused at that. Okay, well, what would be your question? Well, uh, you, you said you weren't, you know, looking to generate new traffic, but in, you, you know, later on you said that indeed you, you know, you were trying to attract tourist dollars, and in the sure. day of, of everybody's got a GPS, if they're looking for you, they're going to find you. People fly past that, and you know the traffic on this road probably is better than I do, but once they fly past you, they can get to the next golf course down the street. Obviously, the ultimate goal would be to make to uh, get more people in the business and for them to find us, sure. But um, I'm, a directional sign is really what I'm looking for. It's for somebody. I, I get that point see. because um, we have to tell people a lot of times that the directions are you have to go about a quarter mile past the, the Burger King and, and take a right at the light. Um, so, because there's no real signage there to say here's Eagle Creek. So the neighborhood sign is even. Um, well off the road. So there's not even a sign out front that even says Eagle Creek neighborhood. Yeah, you can't even so tell it's there. People just fly past there. So I have a couple I don't questions. Know if that answers your question or not, but try it. One, so you are part of the Todd's program. Sure. Um, and so that means the state of North Carolina has determined that you are a, a tourist based uh, business. Correct. So, Tammy, if we. We talked about the 150 businesses between over by Moyot Commons and Sampat. <clears throat> How many of those businesses are tourist-based businesses? I couldn't answer that right here. There, I would say there would be a few, and that's something we can. I, I know in the Moyot part, I think that this would be the only one. So of the 13 signs that could go up, only one of them, if this is passed for tourist-based businesses only. Of course, then most people will say that their revenue increases during tourist time so sure but if the state of the state of north carolina has determined that the following are considered tourist based businesses hiking biking trails horseback riding fishing golfing rafting skiing indoor spa uh, national and state historic buildings uh, renowned for exceptional architecture exceptional scenic or panoramic views and it includes some uh, hotels and motels with amenities and those are the only businesses that can actually even qualify for the Todd's program so if we go by the North Carolina state definition that his would be the only one on that list that would 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 be considered a tourist based industry in Moyoc not suggesting language that the board um, should adopt, but you could go as specific as that list right there. Exactly, exactly. So if we did that, if we went with the North Carolina definition. And that list is from the Todd's program? This is from the Todd's program. You want to cool. see it? Um, if we went with that language, how many do you think of those businesses would, would be eligible for signage? I couldn't answer that tonight without looking at all of them. I, I wouldn't think it'd be more than one or two. 
we we had a discussion um, in the work session regarding um, the four um, businesses that the text amendment was changed um, and it really was only changed for one of those businesses but it impacted potentially four um, I, I think you're right I think we shouldn't get in the business of modifying the UDO or or doing text amendments to to support a single business but if our economy is a tourist based economy I think we should be doing our due diligence to make sure that our tourist based businesses uh, are are helping us out in this economy so I think that if we do adopt verbiage similar to the to the state's verbiage and we say that if your business is uh, one of the following um, and it's a tourist based business then it could be there could be a directional sign and we could come up with some standards for the size of the sign um, I know nobody wanted to see my ugly mug on that sign when I was running for for commissioner but um, I don't think it was uh, you know you only had one or two of those in that area and in this case you would only have one and if it's a directional sign only and not an advertisement for the just uh, similar to the Todd's program where it's just a, an arrow with the name of the business um, I think if, if we put verbiage in there th that would limit it to the same as the other one <coughs> up, up to maybe four or five total on the entire corridor and in, in the Sampat area I don't believe it would even include any if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to think I know I think one I'd have to hear your list again within um, I can't remember I've got it in the office horseback riding hiking bicycle trails fishing golfing rafting skiing any skiing down there maybe <laughs> water skiing uh, indoor spas with attendance, uh, and historic buildings, et cetera. Okay. Yeah, and probably just your golf courses. That's it. So what is it, three golf courses? Maybe. So this would really only apply to a handful of buildings. Maybe a few more. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I have a question. What's the difference in the size of the sign? It was very vague, approximate, like like a street sign compared to the sign the Todd sign that's out there now which is rather small but not a heck of a lot bigger than a street sign yeah so I don't see the benefit you know you're going from this to that am I correct you're correct and it would be the same what's the size of the current signs the current signs are allowed at 64 square feet and yeah that's a feet in height that's an eight by eight billboard mm -hmm. this one is only four by eight so it's 32 square feet. Is that, am I right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be half the size. Could do a directional arrow and, and just, just a logo, logo or something, something along those lines. Yeah, so it's significantly it bigger than the Todd signs. Sheet of plywood. It's a sheet of plywood, basically. Right. Rather than the, what is the Todd sign? One foot by three foot? Mm. Right. That's what they look like. I think, I think they're, they're a little bit bigger than that. They're, they're four, four and a half feet. feet. Square feet? Long, yeah, four and, and a half feet, feet long. Okay. Foot. Foot. So maybe two by four. I don't know. I'd like to hear you guys' opinions on the, like the tourism-based one. I, I, I think that, you know, there's a lot of businesses that are off the highway. Not everybody can be able to afford a business on the main highway. Want to have businesses come to have to be off the highway and still have some form of a sign. Except the highway, the highway that. is where the business districts are. You know, they're not two miles back. Right. But We're still eighty percent agricultural. Uh, you're not going to want everybody that has a business to have to be forced to be on the highway. That's going to cause cluster and traffic nightmares with a bunch of highways instead of corridors that lead off of the main highway and businesses can accumulate on that in a perfect world but you know how how, how far are we talking in Currituck County before we even approach uh, a, a level of concern um, 
it's not happening now. Water park, they wanted to be front and center. They didn't want to be off the highway. And there's about 150 businesses, not the, the Todd's related businesses, but there's about 150 businesses within two miles of the highway right now. So if the, if the purpose of the of the 5.12 was to make sure we don't clutter the, if I'm not mistaken, in the first section it actually talks about tourism-based businesses in uh, 5.12 in the UDO um, and supporting the tourist-based businesses. So <coughs> if we if we simply say we can allow it for a, a tourist-based industry in accordance with the North Carolina definition. We're not cluttering because we're only talking a matter of four or five businesses on the entire corridor. So that would be in keeping with what the UDO design is. And you're saying what, 32 square feet? Well, this one, this the, one. The, 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 old, the old one says 64 square right. feet. This one would only be 32, so it's half the size of the old one, or of the old UDO, yeah. Yeah, it's half sheet of plywood, like you said. Yeah. And if it would stay to just four or five, I, I don't think I'd have a problem with that. It wouldn't be that much of a clutter. But when you hear about 150 businesses. Which, and, which is why we would have to change the verbiage if, right. if Mr. Posh would be willing to change his application. Mm -hmm. Sure to something like, you know, for, to add verbiage, including the North Carolina definition of a, of a tourist-based business and say that, uh, that you would like to, to modify the, the UDO to, or the, do the text amendment to say that this would apply only to tourist-based industries. Sure, right. no problem. I mean, I hate to, I hate to exclude any business but I mean, the, the the county has as a point. I mean, if you're going to put up 150 signs on the corridor, that is going to be a lot of clutter. But if, like I said, if we're if we're a a tourist based economy, I think we should be we should be supporting our. I think in cases of the Sandpath Center, I I like the shopping center sign and the idea of that. Sure. And keeping it in harmony in places that have that at their disposal that that should be the opportunity for them to yeah advertise but ones that, like for a large shopping center sure where the sand pet center has a yeah. shopping center what's called a under the udo they call it a shopping center sign yeah and it's one large sign with all of the businesses in that center listed on it and for businesses such as this gentleman who doesn't have that opportunity i think we need to have something that helps him out um, such as the grill at Carolina Club. And, you know, if, if they didn't have an opportunity to, to advertise, they're a little different than the golf course. And I think they, that business should have an opportunity they to own advertise to the road. somewhere. They own to the road. They got road front. The difference. golf course does, but right. the restaurant doesn't. And there's lots Certain of parts, circumstances you know, you can't that separate I, one from I the think other. that we shouldn't discourage someone from having a business that's off the highway. But you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be mentioning the grill in your – sign it would just be the golf course right correct well, I just okay the grill at okay the all right golf course he lives on. so you're you're not looking to advertise for the grill it would just be another sign that says golf course correct that's part of the um Todd's program too when i called them they, they specifically said bar or grill or anything like that wasn't allowed on the sign just the tourist industry which would be the right. golf course yeah yes. i get it So a, a tourism-related business that operates back on the water, on the sound or something. Could be. That's, well, they, they would do that's, like that's jet skis tough. and, yeah. you know, all kinds of stuff like that. That, was, that would all apply to a tourist-based industry. Can't operate on the highway because they have to have water. Yeah, they have to have water. So they have to have somewhere to advertise their tourist-based industry. So this would apply, when you're saying it applies to the whole county, if you had businesses that were operating on the water within two miles of... Uh, the corridor we could do the directional signs for them they can already do that mm -hmm. oh they can already do it so it's just that add, it's adding this would be adding within two miles of 
um, major arterial streets. If you're on the water, you can already do have an off-premise directional sign. So we're already supporting tourism-based industries. Yeah, like berries. Like berries. and Expect Barry to want the sign, too. He can he's probably. Got one, he, he? Well, yeah, he's got one, he? Not at all. He has a sign out there. Yeah, he's got one on the main highway. Right there between 7-Eleven and Hardy's. He came before us a couple of years ago to modify the sign, but Barry Nelms, right? This isn't just the, the subdivision sign. It's a it's an advertisement sign or directional sign. I haven't seen it in a while. But I know. I can't think about it. I just can't remember. Now, the only time he puts out signs is during bike week. Yeah. I don't think there's a sign there right Neither now. Neither here nor there, but we have, we have had interest um, in Moyoc from there's two garages, mechanic shops that are off the highway. Um, but that, I, I mean, I, those wouldn't be tourist based. They wouldn't, but yeah. that, you might see another text amendment follow up behind this one as well. That's, I just wanted to make you aware right. of that. But well, I mean, like if we said it's not tourist based, and yeah, if it's not tourist based, then it wouldn't be a, a problem. I mean, we're honestly, I'd look at it like we, the, the county commissioners constantly talk about and i know the people in the outer banks hate this term the golden egg but or, or the goose late whatever um but uh, it's it's no secret that our economy is based on tourism and we should be doing everything that that we in all our power we can do to support tourism-based businesses throughout the county not just in the outer banks not just in on the off-road area not i mean we should be supporting tourism throughout the county. And if this one text amendment causes three or four businesses to put up a small sign, I don't think that's in conflict with the UDO, which says that we should be supporting tourism. I agree with that. And I think if, like you said, if he changes his wording to meet the list and yeah you know it's I'm, I'm good with that i understand wanting to keep the corridor clean and and looking pretty yeah for everybody when they ride through but i think we ought to be able to find a happy medium somewhere to I do help too. this gentleman out yeah we want businesses to stay here and and sure. they're in business for a reason I, I we need to, to get people to them that's right drive that are not necessarily have to be highway front to yeah. be able to have an advertisement sign of some sort. Any more comments or questions? Billboards are, are uh, very difficult to get these days, and if that's only your left, your only option. Uh, and they're very expensive, that is. <laughs> kind of puts a lot of your smaller businesses out of, out of reach of that. Any other questions or concerns? Nope. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the open meeting, and I'll entertain a motion. I thought he was withdrawing. But he's going to change the wording to so it meets the yeah, North Carolina. I, I think we already discussed that. You're just going to modify the verbiage? Yes, sir. What we just said? If we can clarify okay. things. So what I was saying was... <clears throat> We would modify his comment, his, his application, oops, let me find it first, where it says um, off-premise directional signs would be allowed to be erected for businesses located within two miles of an arterial street provided those businesses are tourism-based in accordance with the North Carolina definition, which is let me go slower. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a copy of that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. so you already have a copy of it. Okay. Yes, I do. I was more interested in um, 32 square feet. Is there a maximum height? I, I, I leave it up to the board. I mean, do you guys think? Because 64 square feet is two, two by four, or two, two pieces of plywood. I think for a directional sign, that's a, that's a bit much. I think a... a I mean, are you okay? You, I mean, you're, you're, you were okay with the 32 square feet, right? Sure. So why don't we say for, for tourism-based, 
we cut that in half to even support the the UDO even more by by not polluting the the corridor. We could say thirty two square feet instead of six sixty four. Maximum height would be feet maximum feet height feet. should probably be the same. Fifteen feet. Fifteen, uh, 15 feet. Allow logos as well as the name and directional arrow. Um, I, I think we should probably kind of stick to the North Carolina, like the Todd's program, where it's uh, like business name and uh, directional arrow. Because I think we'd, we'd kind of be getting into the weeds if we start saying logos and and all that. Yeah, yeah my, my logo, logo wouldn't work anyway because it has grill in it. So yeah, so it would, would just be. And I'm sure a lot of other. Eagle Creek Golf, Golf Club. In my specific instance. Is that all you needed? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I entertain a motion. Yeah, you don't have to repeat all that. You I was going to say, I make a motion that we do approve <laughs> this 32 square feet signage, and we're gonna, it's going to stick with the um, tourism. But I don't remember everything you just said on, on that. Is but Square feet or square inches? Square feet. Square feet. Square feet. Okay. It's a sheet of plywood. Okay. One sheet. So because it's oh, consistent with the land use plan yeah, because it's, 32. Oh, okay. it supports – tourist-based industry and request is reasonable and in the public interest because it will direct traffic to a tourist-based business. Is that what you're... Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a second? I'll second that. All right. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. All right. The ayes have it and the motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you coming out. And what I will do for like um, what? Isn't that what you said? Mm -hmm. 30, okay. Four foot by eight foot. Four times eight is thirty-two. Sheet plywood. Sheet plywood. All right. Um, you got it. <laughs> Aren't you the construction guy? <laughs> one of the um, automotive shops was excited about this this opportunity, so I'll just say, I was, you'll have to propose your own tax amendment. This one, yeah. small automotive, automotive I mean, shop, I think we're getting into the weeds a little too much if we do all 150 businesses. I think that that's the whole purpose of the UDO. I don't think the purpose was to stifle tourism-based businesses. I, I really don't believe that. I mean, any whether it's you're jet skiing somewhere, whether you're, you get somebody that's doing hand gliding, you know, and it's not on the water, you get somebody that's doing whatever somewhere, some tourist-based industry, horseback riding, you know, we, we can put a sign up. They're near the major corridors. So. Well, I think as long as you're staying in line with that Todd program. It yeah, exactly. You're yeah. you're following a North Carolina state program, so I, I think I think we're doing good if we follow. We their, need to their support program. the local businesses. Sure, I mean, you have to. Well, that's where this gentleman was coming from. So if we do a tour space, which we have, which is absolutely fine, he's born and raised Curry Tuck as a business. <clears throat> he's not a tourist oriented business so what i'll direct him to do is if he still wants to pursue it for a type of business other than what we've just approved that he'll need to propose his own text amendment yes makes sense oh um further all right announcements are there any announcements No announcements. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Is that an announcement or a motion to adjourn? I will make a motion to adjourn. And a second? Second. All in favor? No. Aye. Motion passes.